Okay. Anti-Semitism is on a global rise and silence is complicit, says David Shoma. All right. So all of you know, or if you don't know, there's something that Kanye West tweeted out and it didn't go well that his Instagram account was deleted. His Twitter was deleted first before his Instagram. Now we're hearing his bank, you know, some banks are, you know, send him in, sending him official letters to say they don't want to do business with him anymore. But anyways, we're going to get into that. Let's dive right into what David Sharma said. But anyways, last, last, everybody go chop breakfast. Shayo. All right. Anti-Semitism is on the rise globally. Jews make up only four, uh, 2.4% of the population of the United States, but are the victims of more than 60% of all religious hate crimes. Whether or not Kanye West is mentally ill there is no question he is a bigot if we don't call someone as influential as Kanye West out for his divisive ignorant and anti-semitic word then we are complicit silence is complicit this is coming from David Schumer okay so if you do not know he had tweeted something let me know in the comment section in the comment section if you have seen what he tweeted out before the tweet was deleted okay and that didn't go well with the jewish people okay so yes that's why you hear this whole talk from david shoma if you don't know but i have to quickly make a point here Everybody on this planet that knows or you've heard about Kanye West knows that he is one crazy. And when I'm talking about I'm talking about crazy, I'm not even talking about his mental illness. I'm talking about even if we set that aside, Kanye West is a crazy person that has been pulling so many crazy stunts. But a whole lot of people were quiet. They didn't say it. And I believe even David himself did not say a thing. A whole lot of people are now out talking, crying. This happened. Is it that when it rains on some people's roof, they feel like, oh, the rain will not get to my end because it has started from that other end, right? But at the end of the day, we all have to understand if we want to make the world a better place, we all have to understand that nobody is more important than the other. No certain group of persons are more important than the others, okay? Because when he started that whole white life matters, dragging blacks, I didn't see the whole world coming out to say, let's say one thing. So if he's saying anti-Semitic uh, stops, I think we should take it as he is crazy because when he was bashing his own race and his own people, the whole world did not cry about it. So if he decide to bash other people, let's take it the same way. Let's not be double standard. Comment down below.